the worst day to come to Queenborough. <laughs> is a Monday. Closed. Everything's closed on a Monday. It's all right. We've, We've got, got some, some food on the boat. Be Plenty right. of beer and we'll be okay. But it's special this beer. What's special about that, Jessica? It's low alcohol. Two and a half percent. It's good for drink driving. It's good for drink driving. Okay, what does this mean then? It's time for another boat beer reviews. And now you drink it and tell oh, us okay. what you think. <laughs> what do you think? Okay, it's very. I think it's very fizzy. I don't really like fizzy um, beers. Um, it's sort of a bit weak. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's, it's all right. I don't mind. <laughs> it's a bit weak. It's a bit weak. A bit rubbish. <laughs> yeah. I give it um, probably two stars. Two star beer. Yeah, I don't That's like it. It's very low. It's probably a bit, maybe a bit, a bit harsh on it. Got to wait for the bridge, so we're just going to drop the anchor. And it's the first time we used the ultra anchor, so um, didn't plan to use it for this, but we are ready to do that. So it's good, we're all set up. We seem to be stationary. That does look fun. There's the train, and then it's going to lift the bridge after that for us. Let's see what this anchor's like. The anchor. Didn't look too bad. Okay. Lock the wheel. That's not as much mud as we normally get. And that's that's lovely. That's a lovely little not much mud. We're going under the first bridge now. Wow, that's crazy. It's a bit scary. Am I doing all right? Do you to play? You're doing great. Go for the middle. Yeah, but am I in the centre? I would say you're in the centre here. And they're lifting the bridge. Are we going to get under it? Yeah, they'll make sure. So do we need to wait a bit longer? Well, you can slow down if you want. Are we going to clear it? I think so. Yeah, there's plenty of space. The mast isn't that high. Sure? I'm very sure, yes. It's deceptive, but the mast is not that high. But... Yes, you'll get under that. <laughs> What's that mean? Nothing, it's just the noise of the bridge lifting. You did very well. You did well. That's your first bridge, isn't it? That's your first lifted bridge. Why did you do that horrible form sound? Uh, look at that boat. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, ah, oh, we're not going to get under that. <laughs> well, there's quite a lot of room. I mean, his mast's probably a, li a little bit, a little bit shorter than ours, but you know. But that's uh, funny, very deceptive. But that's good. And the anchor, super easy, came up nearly spotless. Very pleased. We're at the midpoint now, and this 
is where the markers, the boys switch over. So uh, basically the starboard green boy uh, will stop being on our, where was it for? It was on our right hand side. So the green boy was on our right hand, right hand side. Now it's going to be on the left. And we get the port hand, uh, the, normally the right hand boy, that will be on our right. So it all switches around for this section. Times like this, I really wish I had a spinnaker or jenica or some other word that sounds like spinnaker that's not a spinnaker, cruising sheet, whatever. Um, because there is no wind, not a breath. We were reading uh, 0.5 knots, which, if you're traveling at four and a half knots anyway, because you need to make progress. So now I've got to do this circumnavigation, so we need to be doing at least four or five knots not to be coming in um, at midnight, then uh, yeah, so we put the sails away. It's still nice, very hot, but it's all right. Just have to cool off somehow. We're moving now. They like it on these mud flats yeah, here. Because he's got black hairs over there. Seal spotted. They're over there. They're nearly six knots. We should have filmed it, yeah. We had to, well, we didn't have to. We decided it would be much more comfortable extra reef in, so we're fully reefed now on the main saw. Uh, just got one reef in the head tail at the moment, I might need to bring that in as well. But we were healing over about 30 degrees, which is just unnecessary, it doesn't make you go any faster. So um, we're doing about what we're doing now, Jess. It is more fun. What are we doing, Jess? So we're just doing, we're doing over five knots, so that's fine, but we got in a bit of a tangle uh, with when we were reefing, we should have got into the wind here, we did It's not my error. But we are just alongside the outside edge of the Sheppy now at the eastern end, and uh, we're turning the corner. So Jess is at the helm. What do you then think? No, also. Because I don't feel sick. Just so you don't feel sick. But we're alright.
They say that sailing fashion comes in many forms and it, <laughs> it can be a bit dodgy, but I mean, this is taking the biscuit. What is this? Yeah, the, the shoes are nice, shoes are and then and it's like, oh, what the hell? Weird old lady jumper. <laughs> Crazy hat. Yeah. Crazy hair. Brilliant. Here he is, tending to look all cool, looking suave. The poser. This completes Jessica's first circumnavigation of the Isle of Sheppey. Well done. Hang on, okay. Hang on. Yeah. Woo woo. <laughs> Seals and lobster pots, that's, that's the summary. So we're anchored in Stangate Creek. Got some uh, chorizo and mushroom risotto going on here. There you go, Jessica. really hope you enjoyed this video we had a lot of fun making it if sailing summer breeze makes you feel fine then tap to subscribe <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>